Tonight on the show, ladies, how are you guys doing tonight? Tonight on the show, we are going to talk about, um, you know, um, I feel like tonight we should just talk about the um, the first half of the NBA season, you know, as it gets on the way tomorrow night. Let's just talk about here tonight, about the first half of the NBA season, and what did we see here. All right, well, let's talk about it. All right, as far as who, who had a chance to win the championship, well, we thought that teams like um, Cleveland, the Celtics, San Antonio, Thunder, maybe Minnesota were in it. That had not been the case. Um, Cleveland has is too old. They had to make a lot of trades. We thought that guys like, you know, possibly guys like, you know, uh, Isaiah Thomas, the Wayne Wade, Derrick Rose could help. And they ended up being disappointments. They're all a shadow of themselves. And they all ended up getting traded. And they had to right, reset the team. And now they had to bring all these young players in. And to me, I've been studying these teams for like the last few days. And I look at this lineup of it's it's um, George Hill, J.R. Smith, LeBron James, and some 22-year-old kid who they don't even know in his own house. And then Tristan Thompson. I feel like so far they're two and zero, you know, with this lineup beating the um, the Celtics and the Thunder. But I feel like once um, teams start studying and and like have a game plan, I don't know. I I want to be patient and wait to see what we see from Cleveland here in the second half, where teams are going to start, you know, having more of a better game plan and know and how to play them with these new team, these new players. Because, you go from last year's team with, you know, especially with Kyrie Irving to now what you have with George Hill. No disrespect to George Hill, but that is a huge downgrade from George Hill, from, from Kyrie Irving to George Hill. I'm sorry. That could eventually catch up to them. I don't know. I feel like right now they're getting the advantage because people are starting to need to like don't know what they're going to do. But as they start studying them and start getting better game plans for them. I feel like you'd be in trouble. I honestly do. Even though they're younger, you know, you got younger guys like um, like Rodney Hood, you know, Larry Nance, and um, and Jordan Clarkson, and then you got a, you know, you have a very good um, defender in George Hill, and you know, he can also score. I feel like ugh, other than LeBron James, maybe when Kevin Love comes back, but to me, Kevin Love is not really a superstar. To me, Kevin Love, he's just a shooter. To be honest, he's just another shooter on this team. To be honest. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but ugh. I feel like once teams start studying and know what to do and know how to play them, I feel like they could be in trouble. And then let's look at Minnesota. They're just too young. They're just too green. We knew that they're probably not going to have a chance. We knew they were going to be better, and they have been, but they're not a championship team. Um, um, the, um, what is it? Fanny Antonio? They just announced today that Leonard's out for the season, most likely. So, he only played nine games this season. And today they have announced that he's out for the season. So, that he might most likely may be out for the season. So, forget about them. And then you go to the Thunder. They've been on, we thought that the Thunder were going to be the most threat to a championship this year to, for the Warriors. And to me, they I believe they're 2-0, and zero, which is the Warriors this year. But everybody else are very inconsistent. They are a very inconsistent team. I don't see them. I think they could uh, maybe make a run. I do think they'll go into the playoffs. I think they can maybe make a run. But I honestly do not see them as a championship right now. And then last team, the Celtics. That was another team. The plan was for Gordon Hayward to be there the whole season along with Kyrie Irving. First game of the season, Gordon Hayward's out with a, with a leg injury out for the season. It's been Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving with a bunch of young guys. These young guys are starting to hit that wall, you know, because they're... They're not used to playing how, these many games. And like guys like, you know, Jalen and uh, Jalen um, and Jason Tatum are kind of falling off because they're getting a little bit tired. That happens the first few years when you're making the transition from the NCAA to the NBA. You after the, you're, you're amazing the first two months, November and December, but once January comes, you start getting a little bit tired. You know, I think a guy who suffered from it it, poor sickness, and then this year, you know, he um, he ended up actually being out for the season with a broken leg, so, I don't know. Anyways, um, so you look at the, the things right now, and you're most likely, your champion most likely 
will be either Houston or the Warriors. That is what we're looking at here. I think the, the, they will meet up in the West Finals, and I think the champion will come out of the, will come out of that. I believe that both, both of these teams, whether it's Houston or the Warriors, would be Cleveland. I think Cleveland's a clear lock, even though they're not that amazing. I don't think Celtics are too young. Toronto, I don't know. I think they're too inexperienced. I do think that Cleveland may still come out of the East, although I think they could be in trouble. I think they could get swept by the Warriors if, they, if it ends up once again being Cleveland Warriors. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if the Warriors of the, the Cleveland in the finals. I really wouldn't. Last year with Kyrie Irving and LeBron James, they lost in five. Imagine now it's only LeBron James. That could be trouble. You might rather actually hope for an upset and hope Houston, it's Houston versus Cleveland versus Houston. Because that would be terrible. It would really be terrible. I think it would be a sweep if the if the Cleveland plays in the Warriors. I I rather I, I let's all just hope as NBA fans that the Houston find a way to upset the Warriors and then we have ourselves a Cleveland Houston um, finals because I think that would be more I think that the Cleveland would have more of a chance against Houston than the Warriors. All right, let's talk about who is the rook who is the um, rookie of the year. Um, you know, I think right now the favorite is Donovan Mitchell, the slam dunk winner um, from the Utah Jazz. I think he is a favorite for me to be the rookie of the year. Um, Simmons got off to a strong, from the 76ers, got off to a strong start, but I don't think so. I think he, to me, he's, Simmons, to me, he's a power forward with the, he's like a small forward. He's power, small forward. He's like a small forward with the skills of a point guard. Guy can't shoot. <sighs> He's an amazing pass. I'll give him that. But to me, when I look at Simmons, I look at a small forward with the skills of a point guard. But at the same time, the guy, the guy cannot save his life to shoot. Um... I think, I, I think it's going to be, um, and then Jason Tatum, who looked amazing the first, you know, months, he's fallen off from the Celtics, so no, you know, cool, you know, Kyle Kuzma's from the Lakers, same thing, he looked amazing the first two months and has fallen off, Lonzo has been, you know, we're not even going to talk about Lonzo, there's no way he's in it, you know, DeAndre Fox from Sacramento, Josh Jackson from the Suns, you know, I think it's a clear favorite that the best rookie this season has been Donovan Mitchell from the Utah Jazz. To me, he is right now the rookie of the year favorite, Donovan Mitchell. Okay, who is the MVP? I think the first half, no, excuse me, the first few months of the season, it looked like it could be LeBron James. But then after that historic, terrible month they just had in January, I think James Harden. And they're actually, the his Houston team right now on a 10-game winning streak. So I think James Harden is the favorite to win MVP. Then we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't think it, nobody from the Warriors is going to win it. I really don't. Especially the way they finished out, getting the, their ass whooped by Portland that last game of the season. I think the MVP will come down to either LeBron James or James Harden. One of those two. I think those are going to be the two that are going to be going for this. Westbrook, same thing. His numbers have gone kind of down now. Would have to share the basketball with Carmelo Anthony and Paul George. So I don't see him either. I think it's, you know, Leonard. Come on, I'm playing like nine games. You know, Kyrie Irving, he looked like he possibly had a chance, but he along, he has not fallen as much as the other guys on his team, but he has also fallen off a little bit. So to me, it's between LeBron and James Harden. One of those two will end up being the MVP of this season, between LeBron James and James Harden. Coach of the year? I don't know, that one's a tough one. Um, you might have to give it to Dwayne Casey from Toronto. Because the way they they improved this year, because it, I mean they're they're what they're the third they have the third best record I think in in the league, so you might want to give it to him, the Wayne Casey from Toronto. You can't give it again to the Antoni. He won it last year. You're not gonna give it to Steve Kerr, you know. So you can't give it to Steve Kerr, you know. This team's loaded. It's not even fair. You can't give it to Mike D'Antoni again. So I would give it to the Wayne Casey right now from Toronto. Um. But yeah, that's it. That's all my thoughts. And we'll see what happens here in the second half of the season. But until next time, I am the man that runs the place. And I will see you later.
Tomorrow, I will most likely have an NBA preview as we get started with the second half of the 2017-18, 17-18, 2017-18 season. Thank you, Bill Patterson. This was your idea. Pat yourself in the back. Good job, man. Um, until next time, I will see you later, and I will see you later.